Over the years, there's been plenty of talk about how foam cell shock absorbers just aren't up to the task when it comes to the most extreme driving conditions. Well, today, the boys from Tough Dog have asked us to help them debunk that myth and show you that the Tough Dog foam cell shock is absolutely up to the task. Okay, let's start by taking a closer look at just what it is that sets the award-winning Tough Dog 41mm bore foam cell shock apart from the rest. It all starts with the unique bulged tube design of the foam cell's body, which has been specifically designed to create more surface area and carry more of the all-important oil that's responsible for dissipating the heat that's built up due to friction throughout the shock absorber's stroke. In fact, it is the foam cell shock absorber's ability to hold so much more oil than a traditional gas shock that makes it such a popular choice for tourers across Australia. Okay, but what about the foam cell itself? What is it exactly, and what does it do? To the untrained eye, the foam cell looks just like an ordinary piece of foam, but of course there's much more to it than that. The foam used in the Tough Dog Shock is of the highest quality available, and it's able to withstand enormous amounts of heat for extended periods without suffering from deterioration. Each piece of foam is full of hundreds of thousands of tiny gas impregnated bubbles that are designed to maintain a specific pressure within the shock absorber itself. In a traditional gas shock, the gas and oil are not separated by the foam cell, and this leads to aeration, or cavitation as it's known in the industry, which essentially means the oil has reached a point where it is so hot that it bubbles or foams. These bubbles offer little resistance to the rising and falling piston of the shock, and this is what is commonly referred to as shock fade. Now because the gas inside the foam cell is impregnated within the foam itself, it never actually comes into contact with the oil. The result? A shock absorber that's far less likely to suffer from cavitation or fade. But it's just not the internals that set the Tough Dog foam cell apart from the others. As they say, the devil is in the detail. Every Tough Dog foam cell is both friction welded and mid welded at the mounting points for the ultimate in strength. How much stronger? Try a massive 100% stronger than just friction welding alone. So now that we know what makes these foam cells so special, let's really put these babies to the test. Like we said earlier, we want to bust this myth about foam cell shocks once and for all. To do this, we put a random Tough Dog foam cell on the shock dyno and specially marked it so we can see that it's the same shock when we slice it open. Then we ran it continuously until we reached the point that the external temperature of the shock was well in excess of 120 degrees Celsius. After allowing the shock to cool, we cut it open to see if the foam cell inside had suffered from any form of degradation or deterioration due to the enormous temperatures it endured, just as the myth would have you believe. So this is the one, mate? Yeah, this is what I've done all the work, mate. So we'll take this in the well bay and get it cut open. All right, mate. Let's do it. So what are we seeing here? Well, the very first thing we can see, Rick, is the actual foam cell sleeve is still 100% intact. There's no breaking, there's no nothing pulled apart. It's still 100% a, a held together with no issues whatsoever. So we can get rid of that little myth of the foam cell breaking up into pieces. The second thing is the actual foot valve itself is not blocked up yeah. by little pieces of foam. So it's still completely intact and it's still functional and it's still serving its purpose. So I guess we can say that the myth of foam cells breaking up into pieces clearly does not happen in a tough dog shock absorber. Absolutely. All right, well, we can safely say that that myth has been busted. Well, if you'd like to know anything more about Tough Dog's award-winning 41mm bore foam cell shock absorber, or you'd just like to find your nearest stockers, head to toughdog.com.au.